Hey, I'm Vanessa, the girl on a bike, and today I'm here with 15 things that you've got to know if you are going to come to Iceland on a motorcycle. So, number one, one thing that most people don't realize is how insane the terrain is here in Iceland. And I'm talking full on enduro, where you have rocks, sand, ruts, massive stretches to really get that throttle open, really twisty stuff, boulder fields, lava fields. The enduro riding here is out of this world. You have to experience it if you are into off-road mode cycling. Okay, number two is when you're riding in Iceland, you are gonna be going into the wilderness and having a decent water supply is pretty important when you are doing that kind of physical activity. So the water here in Iceland is the freshest, cleanest, loveliest you can get. Drink it straight from the rivers and enjoy it. But with that, you get number three, and that is knowing that you are gonna be doing a lot of water crossings here in Iceland. So you need to come knowing that it is going to be wet, both from the weather, so number four is the rain here in Iceland. And you're gonna get wet from above, but you're also gonna get wet from below. So make sure that the gear that you are wearing is waterproof, and when I mean waterproof, I mean fully, fully, fully waterproof. When it says, Water resistance, that's not gonna cut it here. Waterproof socks, full on, keep you dry. Because if you are dry and warm, you are gonna be enjoying this terrain for hours every single day. Riding in Iceland is absolutely incredible, but you've got to make sure you stay legal. There are so many trails, but you need to know where they are. And if you go off the trail, you are highly risking some massive fines for the authority. The Icelandic summer is pretty short, which means the vegetation here can take up to 30 years to grow. So if you go off those trails, you are risking upsetting the pristine landscape that they have here for a very, very long period of time. So you need to know where you can ride, and if you do end up doing some illegal riding, be prepared for some hefty fines. Knowing where to stay in Iceland is the next thing that is going to make your trip the next level. So, mountain huts, that's all I'm going to say. Don't think about the hotels, they're way too fancy. Get yourself a mountain hut, it's going to be warm, it's going to have a hot shower and a comfy bed and a landscape that is worth sleeping under. Cool, so an advantage of doing these trips on motorbikes is that we can get to places that the rest of the tourists can't get to. And that means you're gonna see waterfalls, hot spas, and scenery that the average tourist never gets to witness. But you can also go to those hot, amazing, musty places like the biggest waterfall in Iceland. Those musty places, the bikes can still get there too. So you're gonna get the best of everything. All the tourism stuff and all of the stuff the tourists wish they could see. Iceland is a pretty brutal country when it comes to the weather systems. And the farming here means that sheep and cows, yes, you are gonna see them, but they can't last the winter in Iceland out on their own. They need to be barned and looked after, which means the Icelandic ponies are very much at the heart of everything Icelandic, but also what goes into the bellies. And I think for many cultures around the world, the idea of eating horse, it's a little bit close to home, you know? We think of them as pets, but in Iceland, because the Icelandic ponies are so rugged, they can live out year round and look after themselves. So they are bred in Iceland as a staple in the diet. We had Icelandic pony horse steak on the barbecue last night, proper Viking style. And I'd say it was a really enjoyable meat, a bit leaner than steak, but pretty similar. So it's something that I think you really should try. Next thing that I think you should know about in coming to Iceland is some of the other foods that you get here. So dried fish with butter. Sounds a little bit questionable, right? Take it as the Icelandic beef jerky. Can't mock it till you tried it, so get some of that down you if you're in Iceland. Wow, in the vocabulary, is starting to get a little bit over repetitive, like I need to get some more like, what? Wow, 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 wow. Over every corner, over every brow, over every mountain, there is another wow in the scenery here. It is so varied and changing. I guess with the history of Iceland being very volcanic, you've got tectonic plates, the terrain, it's just breathtaking. It's something that 
I'm not even gonna try and explain to you on this video. You, you've just gotta come and see it. Glaciers, rivers, waterfalls. I'm gonna be safety first. I can't do a video like this without mentioning how important it is that you are very careful riding in these sorts of terrains. Some of the places that we've been on these bikes, we are literally hours away from any kind of civilization. And so having that satellite communication for emergency calls so that you can pin your location if something goes wrong is gonna be really important. We're obviously riding with our Cardo intercom system so that we can talk in our headsets, warn each other of ridiculously deep puddles or bits of the river that you shouldn't cross. Uh, and safety is very much important. The other arm of safety is also actually knowing where you are. And as a foreigner coming into a country, it's incredibly difficult to know where that big gully is, where the dangerous bit of the river is, you know, all of that local knowledge and terrain. Understanding, you, you can't just read that in a book. So think about that very carefully when you're, you're planning a trip to somewhere like Iceland. So number 14, as someone stood in Iceland right now, absolutely having the time of my life, bucket list kind of trip, I have to say you've got to look up Ride with the Locals. There are a couple of other off-road tour operators that function in Iceland, but Ride with the Locals are the only ones that are actually Icelandic. It's an Icelandic team of Vikings. They have grown up here. They know the landscape. They know where is the ultimate place to stay. Uh, everything from the safety to the logistics to the organization. And you're supporting an Icelandic organization and families with it. So I would massively say you should look up Ride of the Locals. Plus, everything is more fun with three Vikings, right? So I'm Vanessa, the girl on a bike. Please hit subscribe, tick the bell for notifications. Check out my other channels across social media and let's just take in this breathtaking scene here in Iceland. Wow!